Yes, I'm here to talk about Arsenal yet again. Well, they won the game against Porto at the Emirates and are finally into the quarterfinals of the Champions League after 14 years and seven consecutive round of 16 exits. Something's changed, hasn't it? We have seen Arsenal failing countless times on such occasions. They always seem to be vulnerable in these crunch matches that really matter. But every time that we underestimate them, Mikel Arteta's Arsenal keeps surprising us. Ever since he took over the club, there have been constant doubts and criticisms. He finished 8th in the first two years at the club, despite winning the FA Cup and the Community Shield. Everybody thought, same old Arsenal. But then the next season, 2021-22, they made progress. They finished 5th just outside the Champions League spot, then they eventually challenged for the Premier League title in 2022-23, and when they couldn't win it, everybody saw this as their only chance. Liverpool will be back, Man United will be back, Chelsea will be back, but again, this season they're on top of the Premier League with 10 games to go. Last season in the Europa League, they lost to Sporting Lisbon in the round of 16 on penalties. Everybody thought the same thing had happened when the Porto game went into penalties. But Arsenal yet again took many by surprise, showing resilience and mental fortitude. It is a new Arsenal. So what is it about this Arsenal that could finally help them win a major trophy? That is, the Premier League or the Champions League. Let's have a look at some of their stats in the Premier League. They have scored the most goals in the league, 70, compared to 65 by Liverpool and 63 by Manchester City. They also have the best defence in the league, conceding 24 goals, compared to Liverpool's 26 and Manchester City's 28. Do you know that Arsenal also have the best record against the Big Six this season? They've won three games and drawn three making it 12 points. Manchester City have two wins, five draws, and one loss, while Liverpool have one win, five draws, and two losses. They have beaten both Liverpool and Manchester City, the only team to do so in the league. In a nutshell, Arsenal are really good. They score a lot of goals, and when the going gets tough, they make sure to grind out important wins. But how are they so good? How did Arsenal go from finishing 8th in two consecutive seasons to challenging for the league title and into the quarterfinals of the Champions League? Well, no surprises, it's Mikel Arteta's coaching brilliance. Last season, Arsenal played some of the most scintillating football in Europe, bedazzling opponents with fluid one-touch passing, splitting defences with runs and constantly switching positions to overwhelm the opponents. But that has changed this season. Arsenal are more about control. Adding Declan Rice and Kai Havertz to the squad, along with Gabriel, Saliba, Ben White and now Kivior, make them a big team. They have big players who can win duels on a regular basis, high on the pitch or in their own half, and dominate the game with possession. The whole team moves as a unit, taking their time, rarely going for quick breaks or counter-attacks. It's more about choking the opponent in their own half and minimising their chances. Arsenal's XGA, that is, expected goals allowed, is only 19.4, compared to Manchester City's 27.6 and Liverpool's 34.5. They are by far the best team defensively. Everybody said that Arsenal needed a striker. They're not scoring goals. But Arsenal are the best attacking team in the league as well, not just scoring the most goals, but have created the most chances too. They also boast of the most touches in the opponent's penalty area with 1,071, compared to Manchester City's 1,033 and Liverpool's 942. Their XG, that is, expected goals, is 56.6, only second to Liverpool's 62.6. Their Champions League performance is no different, scoring 17 goals in 8 games, conceding only 5 and none at home. Arsenal look like a fresh new team with young players, new ideas and a lot of hunger. They can overwhelm their opponents. 
like the 4-0 versus PSV or the 6-0 versus Lons. And they can grind during moments of pressure, like the one we watched versus Porto, scoring all four of their penalties while saving two of them and eventually qualifying for the quarterfinals for the first time in 14 years. Arsenal have been very good. Another important factor is the depth that they've added. Last season's winter editions of Jorginho, Jaco Kivior and Leandro Trossard have all played a very vital role in this season. Along with Declan Rice, Kai Havertz, Urien Timber and David Raya who joined this season. Jorginho forming a pivot with Declan Rice has helped Rice to move further up the pitch to not only win possession but add to the goals as well. He has six goals and seven assists in all competitions this season, the most he has ever had. Kai Havertz has also been instrumental with nine goals and three assists. Apart from scoring important goals, he has been the heartbeat in leading the press and winning physical battles due to his immense height and lanky physique. Trossard's versatility of being able to play as a striker, tuck in as a winger and just float around as an attacking midfielder has been one of Arteta's most lethal weapons. His incredible finishing ability has been extremely important for Arsenal. In the absence of Zinchenko, Kivior has become a regular starter who provides a different dimension, a stronger and more sturdy presence. With Thomas Partey and Gabriel Jesus back from injury, and Yuri and Timber as well, rumoured to be back soon after his ligament tear, Arsenal are near full strength. They're just waiting for Martinelli to come back from his foot injury, and they might need him real soon. After the international break, they head on to possibly the toughest challenge yet. Manchester City at the Etihad. God knows that the league might be won or lost in that fixture. Among the top three, they are the ones people see as rookies in this stage of the league. Yet, you have the feeling that Mikel Arteta won't be showing any signs of inexperience here. Not again. He might even fancy his team over the big guns in Europe. Bring on Real Madrid or Bayern Munich. The Gunners are ready. This is the beginning of a new dawn at the Emirates. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave us a like and comment if you feel that Arsenal might not have enough to go all the way. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.